So I've been making games for just over a year now, and in that time I've made some good games, some bad games, and some really bad games. But the first game I ever made was this one, called Flying Pixel. It's a simple platformer in which you play as a square that can fly. So for this one year anniversary of my game dev journey, I thought it would be a good idea to remake this game with all the things I've learned in the past year. Welcome to the first devlog of Flying Pixel 2. Right, so I started off by recreating the most important part of the original game, the flying square. And this is what I made. It's a bit smaller than the original and also a bit lighter, but those things are just there to improve the feel of the game. Everything else is exactly the same, but there was still something missing. It was just a bit too boring. So I added this nice looking trail to imply movement, and I really liked how it looked. And with having done that, I was in the mood to work on some graphics. But with the original game being very simplistic, there wasn't too much I could do. So I turned to the one thing that can make anything look good, post-processing. And even though I didn't do too much, I just added some lens distortion and a grain filter, it still looks pretty good. So at this point we've only been doing things in this one rectangle, but of course our levels are going to be way bigger than that. So I decided to expand our test area, and with having done that I needed a way for the camera to move with the player. So I wrote my very first good camera script by following a Brachys tutorial, and now we have some smooth camera movement. But there are two pretty big problems right now. First off, the trail looks really weird when the camera is actually following the player. And second, we currently have no way of dying. So after fixing that, we now have a nice looking player trail and some red squares that you'd be better off not touching. Right, so we now have basically everything we need to start working on some level design. I started off by making a very simple tutorial level to teach the player everything they need to know. It's very simple, but it gets the job done. Although when you reach the end of the level, there is still a clear problem. We currently have no way of moving on to the next level. Alright, so after quite a while of trying to make something look good with Unity's particle system, this is what we ended up with. And even though it's extremely basic, I still quite like it. So with all the different components of the game now done, it's time to make some levels. Alright, so after having made two more levels that turned out amazing, I added something that changed this entire game. A timer. At the time I thought this would be something extra, something you weren't supposed to be playing with, but you could turn on in the settings if you wanted an extra challenge. But the more I played with it, the more I started to like it, and the idea of people speedrunning the game got me really excited. There was something magnificent about using the smooth movement of this game to get through a level as fast as possible, and so I decided to build my entire game around this concept. Right, so then I started working on a level completed scene that would be shown to you at the end of a level. And on it, it would have your time, your best time so far, a restart button, a menu button, and a next level button. And I am extremely happy with how it turned out. The minimalistic art style is simply amazing. Alright, so with the player now having the option to go to a menu, we of course need to actually make a menu. I started off by making a level select scene where the player can choose which levels they want to play. And after a little while, I got everything to work and even added scrolling to the scene. I also made sure that you can't select a level you aren't allowed to play yet. Then to make it easier to see which levels you had already played, I added your current lowest time for each level to the level select scene. This will also allow you to see your best time for each level without having to play it. Alright, so then it was time to make some more levels. I made a total of three extra levels, using the exact same method for each of them. I start by placing some random obstacles that I think are interesting, and then I endlessly tweak them to make them easier or harder. Then I play through all the levels in one go and make sure their difficulty is what it should be in comparison to the rest. Then the next day I made four more levels using that exact same method and now we have a grand total of 10 levels. Alright so currently our game still has a pretty big problem. When you're playing a level you aren't able to do anything else until you reach the end of the level. Which means that when you're struggling with a certain level your only option is restarting the game if you want to do anything else. We of course don't want this, so I added the ability to pause the game by pressing escape. This will freeze your movement, stop the camera from following you, and make everything on your screen darker. 
And from there you can continue playing, go to the menu scene or go to the setting scene, although that one currently doesn't exist yet. Alright so then I started working on something that has been bothering me for a long time. Currently when you die the only thing that happens is that your control of the square is taken away and after about 2 seconds the level restarts. And even though I quite like this, it isn't very clear and I think we can do a better job of communicating when the player dies. So after experimenting with all different kinds of camera effects, I settled on a simple zoom that would be played each time you die. This doesn't interrupt the flow of the game, but it does make it more clear that you've just died. Right, so at this point there's just one more thing we need to do to make this game actually playable, and that is add a menu. It doesn't need to be complicated, it just needs to exist. So after working on it for about an hour, we now have a very simple menu. It'll probably change in the future, but right now this will do. Alright, so with that all out of the way, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to like the video if you liked it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.